The world's press descended on Geneva for the 80th annual car show. Manufacturers have two days to impress the media before the show opens officially to the public. Small, clean and green was the focus, from pocket-sized electric vehicles like Rinspeed's Urban Cruiser to Honda's stylish single-seater. They may just be concept cars now, but some industry experts think it won't be too long before they appear in showrooms around the world. It's the small, lean, green technology uh, as people, most people, are looking to buy cars which they can actually afford to run. And, 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 and I think that people are becoming less inclined to view a car as a status symbol and more as a practical means of transport. And, and I think that will continue to happen. Generally, the, the newer the technology, the more efficient, the more expensive it is. Uh, but we're starting to see here at the show this uh, premium or technology that used to be reserved for premium cars being filtered down to smaller engines, smaller vehicles that are more affordable to, to everybody. But it wasn't only small cars attracting attention. This Alfa Romeo caused quite a sensation. And although small cars were the stars, manufacturers across the board have similar ideas on where the industry's future lies. The focus is on getting things smaller and lighter. And that doesn't matter whether you're Rolls-Royce or whether you're Nissan or Ford or Renault. Um, whatever area of the market you play in, the focus at the moment for all of the engineers working behind the scenes is smaller and lighter to make cars more efficient uh, and therefore more affordable for us. As countries begin driving out of recession, consumers looking for cheaper green alternatives will have plenty to choose from. Hayley Platt, Reuters.